Hi, I'm Chef Toby and this is a spoon. Today we're going to be cooking up a universal story and because I have absolutely no idea what that is, neither does my spoon, we're going to be walking around the Come Out Youth Arts Festival. We're going to ask some questions about the ingredients that go into making a universal story and then we'll mix it all up and see what we get. I think first though we should go find Chef Andy. Today we're making some nice fresh pizzas for the kids. Uh, healthy ingredients, all grown in South Australia. We've got the uh, capsicums, uh, mozzarella cheese made in South Australia, um, mushrooms also grown in South Australia. All healthy, fresh ingredients brought in today, chopped today. So the kids are just putting it all together, they're going to bake it off, and they're going to have it for a bit of a lunch. And while that's baking off, we're going to make some nice uh, sundae, a nice yogurt sundae. It's fresh natural yogurt, full of good bacteria for them. Um, fresh fruit, fresh apples, uh, honey instead of sugar, so the honey's more natural and sweeter. So it's good for good for good for the kids really. You know. It's not so pro such processed uh, processed sugar. Hi, I'm Jalissa and I'm from Japan. How's it going? We were doing a aerosol mural in the theme of uh, storytelling. Or once upon a time, like uh, fairy tales and stuff. So we put the image of hip hop and street art into a sort of fairy tale type theme. So how do you know when it's done? When I'm at least half happy with it. That was fun, wasn't it? There's got to be something else cooking in the oven. There's always got to be the spice of, uh, of mystery and transformation. The imagination of the children, actually. Mm. I mean, we, we, live, we live in the stories, but if they're engaged 100%, then it goes far beyond what we yeah. could do by ourselves. It helps us. Yeah, well. so yeah. They, hold, they hold our show together. <laughs> it's eggs, but no gluten. <laughs> gluten free. If your art piece was a dish, what would it be? If my. <laughs> <laughs> a bowl of Smarties, I think. Colourful. No, kids love them. Uh, there's the metal, Darcy. Good idea. What a funny guy, and I'm sure he makes everyone laugh, just like the spoon. I think it's about time we went and found some slightly different things to fiddle with. Perhaps some puppets, and maybe the coolest car ever. Let's go have a look. I think every good story needs a bit of adventure, and what better adventure than some wacky kids in search of marbles, sacks, and three-legged monsters. This is a spoon, and does anybody have a potato? very much on um, having a look at the works that, um, that I'm uh, choosing for the festival and to be honest that's the best part of the job for me. So I hope that each of the ingredients if you like of the festival, each of the ingredients of an individual work is carefully defined by the artists and then my job is to work with all of those ingredients to make up the whole festival. So I'm looking for something a little bit light, a little bit spicy, 
uh, a little bit meaty and um, a little bit refreshing. Those would be my goals, I reckon. Oh, you know, a bit of congestion, but it'll clear up, I'm sure. Right, well, you put that filthy thing away before you go blind. Well, it's certainly been a wonderfully wacky time, and I've had a lot of fun. From Chef Andy and his pizza patrol over to the weird guy in the pigeon suit that I couldn't find, it's been a really fun day. So, I think it's about time we say goodbye to Spoon. Goodbye, Spoon. And head off to cook some stories. Tongs on my spoon, my tongs on my spoon.